Now we're going to link sleep, which we all do, with mitochondria, which we all have. Yay! Now a study suggests that mitochondria in the brain actually help to trigger sleep when you've been awake too long. Yeah, so this is in fruit flies, which as a general rule, an animal study we take with a bit of a pinch of salt. But mitochondria are so fundamental to how cells work, we can quite confidently make the leap that this could also apply to people. The team let roughly half the flies get a full night's sleep. The others were kept awake for 12 hours. And what they found was among the sleep-deprived flies, the sleep-inducing neurons ramped up the activity of genes involved in running and maintaining their mitochondria. The mitochondria also showed signs of being under stress, so they broke into smaller pieces, they cleared out damaged parts, and they formed contact points with nearby structures that help with repairs. So this stress may stem from the fact that the mitochondria keep producing energy, even when the neurons are sort of otherwise inactive. The researchers observed that this led to a buildup of electrons that leak out, generate free radicals, and ultimately trigger sleep pressure. Wow. Yeah, and when the flies were finally allowed to sleep, the mitochondrial damage was repaired. So this is amazing, isn't it? Because we already knew that in people, if you have mitochondria that aren't working very well, you're more likely to feel tired and fatigued, and that, that makes sense, you're producing less energy. But this idea is that the mitochondria in your sleep neurons are directly involved in that feeling of sleepiness. It just makes you think, well, what else are mitochondria at the core of? Yeah. 